Couldn't stand another minute Couldn't bear another day without you in it All of the joy that I had done for all my life Was stripped away from me the minute that you died Yo, what's good everybody? What's really good is Yaya, and today I'm talking about Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. Now, if you guys do not remember, they recently had a survey for Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. I couldn't do it 100% because guess what? I didn't get to play Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle at any events. But however, the last part was super interesting. It had a form and a fill-out page to put a guest character and characters from all the other four franchises in the game to include what characters we want in blaze blue cross tag battle so today this is an interactive video you see this video i'm gonna tell y'all right now we're gonna have new incoming characters coming to blaze blue cross tag battle in the upcoming months but here's the catch to it it may not be the basic cookie cutter characters that we all know and love we might get some random oddball characters from the rosters in this game based on these surveys and today i want to ask you guys what characters do you guys want in blaze blue cross tag battle so I'm going to work on the top 10 characters I want for this game, but however, these are some of the characters that I have on the top of my head and why. So without no further ado, LGI, let's get it and let's go. Alright, number 5 is from Persona uh, Ultimax, Persona 4 Arena. I do want Shadow Labyrinth. Shadow Labyrinth was my favorite character in that game. However, the reason why I want Shadow Labyrinth is she'll make the roster more intricate difficult and not just cookie cutter and also interesting in this gameplay i mean shadow labbers had a lot of good mix-ups and a lot of rushdowns and she can lock her opponents in two different ways i think shadow labbers will be a wonderful pick for this game all right number four this is the character i've grown to liking to i ain't really into the whole lolly ordeal but S from Blade Blue Central Fiction, I honestly believe she does deserve a simple spot in this game. I think that will be amazing, wonderful, and fantastic. I think that will be cool. She is one of the newer fan favorite characters. I think if top three from Blaze Blue Central Fiction of the newer cast, I honestly believe it's Naito in number one, nine, and then S. I feel like they reign Blaze Blue Central Fiction in terms of newer characters. Sorry, Abiki, but you might get your Itachi spot later. Our number three is from Unio. Unio, under night in birth, I need my boy Gorde or Gordeo, whatever you want to say, you read, you pronunciate it the way you see it. Gordeo is my favorite character, probably out of most of these fighting games that are included in this roster. I mean, Gordeo, he may be kind of brain dead to play or easy to pick up, but he's just so dang cool. This man DPs you with a scythe. There ain't a lot of characters that do that nowadays. You only see that in Bra. Anyway, but I think Gordia will be an interesting roster pick for this game. He'll be amazing. And I think that would be wonderful for all the Blaze Blue Cross tag fan battles. Fans, and they will probably pick up Unio or Unius whenever that releases in North America or import it. Who knows? All right, number two is a character that people want to either love, hate, or miss, or get mad at me for saying this. But I feel like she's pivotal to the story. She's been around. She's been like one of those characters that's been in Blaze Blue. And I feel like Lychee deserves a spot, even though she may not be as of a good character competitively or online or gameplay-wise. But I feel like when you see her in the story, you could go on Google and you see a lot of gifts of her. She was probably one of the more fan favorite females back in the day. Hey, if we got Noelle, we can get freaking Lychee, okay? So, that's all I'm saying right about that. All right, number one. You know, I already know number one got to be a Ruby character. Number one got to be a Ruby character. Now, I already made a top five, a top ten list for my favorite Ruby characters. Shameless plug. I'm going to tell y'all right now. As time progresses, as I watch more Ruby, a character that does deserve a spot out of everybody in the game, I honestly feel like... She deserves a spot more than anyone else. It should just automatically be Yang, which is automatically, you know, put in our brains that, oh, Yang is coming because the Ruby gang. You need all of Ruby to make Ruby be Ruby. But if it's not Yang, I really want Cinder. She's a villain. The game doesn't have too many uh, villains as of right now. We got Hazama, and I think we have, yeah, that's pretty much it as for villains right now. But that being said, I want y'all to tell me, 
Who do you guys believe in? Who do you guys want in Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle? One take all I'm doing. I ain't really got that much time today. I'm going to tell y'all guys out. I'm done. Goodbye and see you guys later. Hit that sub button. Turn on my bell for the more notifications for Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle information and news. Also, follow me on Twitch because I stream a lot of fighting games. I stream a lot of Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle and a lot of Unio and hopefully Persona. I'm streaming a lot of fighting games on my Twitch channel and I play a lot of Japanese RPGs. So that being said, comment, rate, subscribe. I will tell you guys out. I'm done. Goodbye and see you guys later. And you guys are golden and that is raw.